Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am Son Young Im from Dongguk University. First of all, I'm sorry to present my talk uh, in video because of new coronavirus. I hope it will be settled as soon as possible. Now I will have a talk about uh, design of city police knowledge model using machine learning technique. Uh, and um, I'm from Dongguk University and has in Lee in the Lee Young Ho Bar from Sungmyung Wonglas University and Professor Park is a corresponding author of this paper. And this is the uh, content of my presentation. First, I will introduce the uh, motivation and next I will propose a city police knowledge system and city police reasoning method. And I will conclude my talk. So, uh, policies are all around us and directly or indirectly and have a great impact on our lives. And people often wonder uh, what reasons such poli policies were proposed, uh, why they were decided to implement them, um, and so on. And recently, the importance of data-driven policymaking uh, like evidence-based policy making has increased. So uh, the use of scientific evidence and data in police decisions uh, represents the following five importance. First, it can play a significant role in preventing decision making by ideology or this by giving justification of policy making. And second, uh, it can contribute to increasing uh, the speed or efficiency of uh, policy decision making on target policies or projects. Third, policy evidence can help achieve the goals pursued by the policy. Uh, policy decisions based on evidence can further increase the uh, likelihood of resolving the social problems that the policy must address uh, as the response is determined based on a uh, close examination of existing research results. And fourth, uh, because uh, it, it has originally as opposites to opinion-based policy making, uh, it has the advantages that it can meet the public's demand uh, for transparent that accurate uh, public, public policy making. So fifth, uh, presenting accurate, accurate uh, the objective evidence can overcome conflicts and difficulties among stakeholders uh, in policy making and enforcement. However, uh, so uh, however, there is a few, very few researches about police knowledge system which adopts to actual policy process. And also there are numerous policy related data. However, most are not in right form for data analytics. Thus, uh, we propose a city policy knowledge system for policy making. Uh, so first, uh, we collect related to the city and convert into city police knowledge by pre-processing. And we construct a city police knowledge system. And also, we propose a city police reasoning method based on Shapley value and machine learning technique. We determine the impact uh, between var 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 variables using by Shapley value method. And we propose reasoning method for policy making based on machine learning technique. So this is a design of the proposed uh, city police knowledge system. We first collect uh, data related to city police and we, we co convert some of them to knowledge by pre-processing. 
and we determine the in, in influential variable uh, by using Shapley value. And next, we analyze an inference based on machine learning techniques such as logistic regression or clustering and decision tree and Bayesian. And we finally design a system dynamics model for policymaking. For the experiment, uh, we use two data sets. Uh, first one is Boston housing data, and these are the attributes. So, uh, AG means the proportion of owner occupied units built prior to the no, 1940s, and RAD means index of accessibility to radar highway, highways, and, and so on. And also, second data is soil data, and these are the uh, attributes about about the store store data, soil stores data. So stores means the number of stores, and franchise means the number of franchise stores. And also, we uh, first uh, we first make a group uh, for classification. Uh, and we use k-means clustering, and this is the result of clustering. So first, we determine the influential variables using the uh, Shapley value. So Shapley value is a theory of fair distri distribution with mutually beneficial players in cooperative games. According to the Shapley value, uh, players from an alliance to create a certain common reward and players in each federation use the Shapley value receive uh, different differentiated rewards based on a uh, fair distribution. And it it has five steps. First, uh, we calculate the marginal contribution of a variable and we organize uh, the association for each variable into a player set and then we allocated the values according to the contribution of each union and based on the Shapley value algorithm uh, the influence of each variable is calculated so we can determine the ranking based on the influence score of each variables so uh, finally, we can determine the impact of uh, variables using by Shapley value. And the, these are the results. Uh, we can find the major influential uh, variables like this. And in the next step, we analyze based on these influential uh, variables. So next, uh, we build the decision trees based on random forest. So and we focused uh, the influential variables uh, from the Shapley value. The decision tree is the representative method for classification. So for example, uh, the store. If the store is a franchise. Uh, so you can go to the left side and the class is zero. Uh, it means if a uh, new store came and then the new score, uh, new store is similar to the stores uh, which have similar characteristics uh, to the stores are in class zero. And also, these are the result of Bayesian inference. Uh, Bayesian inference is a method of calculating the prob probability of an event at random using prior prob probabilities, which means that the reasoning is made to predict the value of the data that has not yet been observed if the cause is identif identified and the cause is determined. And also, we can predict the class of the store with Bayesian inference. And next, we use logistic regression. Uh, regression analysis uh, refers to an analysis method that obtains a linear expression uh, between independent 
and dependent variables by identifying the relationship between variables, uh, models, and the relationship through the function and measure the uh, conformance. So these are the results from the Boston housing data and these are the results from the Seoul data. And so uh, for the last one, uh, we designed the system dynamics model uh, for Seoul data for policy making. Uh, system dynamics is a methodology for researching and managing complex feedback systems such as uh, business or social systems. And uh, system dynamics modeling refers to a conceptual model structure expressed, expressed in the form of casual loop diagram based on the model designer's understanding of the system. So, uh, so from this uh, system dynamics model, we can inference or reasoning the, the police uh, and how, how the impacts on the city. So looking at the feedback uh, loop one, the uh, red, red one, and it can be seen that as the floating population increases, floating population, uh, population increases, the attractiveness of merchants and merchants increases, which leads to the revitalization of merchants. And also uh, looking at the feedback loop to the green one, it is a feedback loop in which the number of tourists increase, uh, tourist increases as the diversity of the in industry increases so that the trade zone is formed and sales increases. On the other hand, uh, the di diversification of industries can lead to an uh, increases uh, in the value of real estate uh, leading to a rise in rent, uh, which in turn uh, can lead to a rise in the closing rate. Therefore, the policy is needed to mitigate the rise in rent. So uh, we, we use uh, the k-means uh, clustering or Shapley value and random forest and regression analysis in the previous experiments uh, and we designed the final model. And this is the conclusion of my talk. Uh, we have proposed the city police knowledge system for uh, data-driven policy making. So the importance of evidence-based policy making, uh, we, we design a, a policy knowledge system and, and also pre propose a reasoning method. First, we collect the data uh, related to city uh, for example, Boston housing data and Seoul data for experiments. And we, we first make groups using k-means uh, clustering method. And we also propose a city policy reasoning method based on machine learning techniques. Uh, we first determine the impacts of variables using by Shapley value so uh, we can find some influential variables by Shapley value, and we conduct uh, reasoning experiments based on decision tree, base and inference, and log logistic regression. And we also uh, finally design a, have designed system dynamics model for uh, city police making. And as as for the future work, uh, we want to adopt. Uh, so more, uh, some more city uh, related data, and we have we want to improve the system dynamics model, and we want to uh, we want to analyze 
uh, using another machine learning techniques. Uh, thank you for listening.